Hello and welcome back to Pillars. We're just about to enter some creepy door, the hanging sepulchers. So let's not hesitate. The door shudders and groans at your approach. Let's inspect it. Choose a party member. <clears throat> An elaborate etching spans the stone's width, carved uh, faintly beneath several runes. It depicts a small crowd praying to a pair of giant eels that have coiled above a large door. An Almana priest holds a disc near to the door's face. Religious artifact, blessed by Barat, it is likely necessary to open this entryway. The eel's coil. Okay. <sighs> what is that? This tree is rooting... Uh, well, this tree, its roots are digging deep into rock and bricks, hangs over the ledge of uh, the precipice. Below an open uh, tomb clings to the sheer walls of the cliff. Rope and grappling hook, secured rope and grappling with the tree. Peer over the precipice, where are we going? Precipice drops hundreds of feet into the lower districts of Nekataka. Strong winds assail the cliff, whistling as they crash against its rock. A few yards below, the ledge of an open tomb rests on them. Okay. So, let's just go into the Temple of Barat first. So, I want places to go to. And I have to say, we're finding some new companions, so I'm happy about that. We already found three in the city. And the latest one? Wow. Very interesting. Yidvin. Reparu. Uh oh. No, I don't want to steal. No! I clicked by accident. Why so many dead guys here? Uh, what about the formation we have? Is, is it sensible? Yeah, it, it is. High Priest Kasu. An ailing Omana priest regards your approach with curiosity. He coughs into a sleeve stained with a spatter of uh, silvery flecks. Come closer to the altar. Come inside. The temple welcomes all to worship, most especially you. The priest peers annoyingly at the center of your chest, lips curving an ardent smile. Hands are trembling, he touches a length of chain around his neck. Knowingly? This guy has no shame. I ask only for no talking. What? Not until we pay our respects to Bereth, to Rikuhu. Let us pray. Ah, uh, thanks, but I pass. The priest's head whips up, he gapes but nods, while murmuring a rushed prayer behind his uh, stained sleeve. Impressive altar. What else can this temple boast? Under the temple, carved in the mountain's caverns, lies an extraordinary maze of catacombs. So I've read. You just want everyone to uh, go there. And because you're a priest of Barat, that's probably a death trap. They're the hanging sepulchers. Burial place for ancient Wana chieftains. The bodies are protected by Bereth's best. Roaming. Always. Plus, the way is sealed by the deity itself. You mentioned something about the undead in the catacombs. The dead with their souls. They roam still. The ones who were chosen by Bereth. Kasu rubs at the pendant beneath his shirt. His thin lips peel back, trembling from a feeble snarl. Not everyone's born so blessed. Sometimes, instead, you've got to die for it. Oh boy. Tell me about the writing on these domes. Liturgies. Instructions for ritual preparations. When and how. Sermons. Some histories, too. 
His fingers trail carefully across a stone as craggy as his skin. All of this, it's our knowledge has gleaned through centuries of service. Now, I've got to leave it all behind for the next disciple. So like a handful of stone tablets? Written with big ass letters? I see it. Wow, this place is really uh, valuable. His words catch in his throat and he curves forward in a spine racking fit, hacking until he's flush faced, fumbling a goat skinned flask to his lips. He drinks until minnow silver liquid dribbles over and slicks his chin. Better. He wheezes, wiping a palm over his chin. The timing's getting tighter. And there is one thing before the end. Something only one touched by Bereth can do. Good thing I have insight. You covet something you can't get to, something you can't access because you lack Bereth's chime. That's right. I've got no hope, but you do. He tugs a chain about his neck. My eels, my infinity coil keeps rattling. Pendants resonating with your chime. The priest presses the palm of his hand to the front of his chest. He stares, scrutinizing your face. He stakes his head, disappointed. He shakes his head, disappointed. The coil resonates, but it's weak. You could unseal the way, but you die inside, I think. My chance would be lost then. <laughs> lost with your remains. Wow, I'm really bummed that your chance would be lost. Not just anyone can escape the hanging sepulchers. Alive. Stare him down? I can handle myself. He releases his grip on the pendant with a feeble nod. I'd best not let this chance pass. There's a sacred text. The eulogy to Isaiah. It's been buried in the catacombs beneath the temple for centuries, next to his champions. More crappy text? I really hope there are other riches there. I need it. Of course, the tombs, they only open to the dead, or those bearing Bereth's chime. Why do you need Yazir's eulogy? It never was added to the tomes, but it holds the final clues for my death. It's my best chance. To die? I prayed for decades, night to day and night again. Now, here you are. All right. Just in time. Means Perleth sent you to see to my success. I'll look for it. The priest buffs his head. From beneath his shirt, he untucks a stone carved circlet in the image of an eel. The pendant vibrates on the length of its chain, tumming harder to the closer he holds it to you. You are my best chance. Or only, maybe. Take the coil. It'll open the crypts. Bring me a sayer's eulogy. And I'll teach you all I know of Bereth's Arcana. See you later, weird guy. Uh oh. Be fat and furry, but maybe. Be maybe I shouldn't. Wait a second. Huh? How good at How cheese you... at sneaking around? Not as good, apparently. Alright. Can you re-enter stealth in a fight? That would be uh, interesting to know. So we can Sarah go in the... Well, we agreed you'd stay out of my head. Oh, I weren't in your head, lad. You think like an ogre snores. Would be a fool and an half not to make sure them thoughts ain't full up of trouble. What do you think you're gonna find? Nothing particular, just... Uh, anything. So, either we go inside using the front door or we just 
Try to go inside here. Uh, let's go down with the rappling hook. Descend into to the tome's opening. You grab the rope, planting your feet on the edge of the precipice, and begin to your descent. Gusts of wind sway you from side to side, forcing you to tightly grip the rope. It digs into your skin with every move. Complete success! Despite the effort, your group proves their excellent conditioning. Everyone manages, uh, manages to reach the tomb's opening without exertion. You stand on the narrow ledge of the, the tomb's entrance, its passage leading into the darkness. Your rope dangles from the tree above. But well, let's just go inside. You follow the passage. The winds rage outside, yet the air of the tomb doesn't stir, stale and heavy. Steps carved onto the rock descend uh, deep into the mountain. You walk down the steps, every stride echoing through uh, the carnivorous passage. Skeletal remains poke out of ninth of uh, niches on the walls, lining up the way until the steps land into a narrow corridor. You stand before a hallway. Its columns frame dozens of tombs hollowed into the rock. Cubbyholes line the walls, skeletal remains litter every alcove and spill onto the stove slabs that tie the floor. <clears throat> Inspect the hallway. Cross the hallway and continue. Inspect the hallway. Let's do it. You carefully scan the co corridor and focus on every detail. Skeletal remains, probably dislodged from their cubbyholes over centuries, litter the edges of the walls. Judging by an emblem etched on the stones of the tombs, members of the same clan or group lie buried here. A faint sparkle catches your eye. Under a pile of bones collapsed in inside an alcove, you discern something glittering. It seems to be within easy reach. You stand before a whoa, whoa, whoa. No, it's 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 new new text. You stand before a hallway. Its columns frame dozens of tombs hollowed into the rock. I don't know, cubby, cubby holes line the wall, scattered remains litter every alcove and spill under the Okay, come on. Don't make me read things. So much. So many things to read. Especially if the it doesn't show you if you read it already. Cross the hallway and continue. Retrieve the glittering object from the tomb. You reach inside the cubbyhole, digging into the pile of bones and stones. Your fingers touch something cold, its surface smooth as glass. You grab it, surprised at its weight, and pull it out to reveal a large ruby resting on the palm of your hand. Great. Cross the hallway and continue. You stand in a dark, narrow cavern. The path ahead twists in its descent. I'll continue. You continue onward, following the turns on the path with careful but sure stride. As you round a bend, a drift of cold air announces the end of the narrow passage. Its exit appears ahead, flanked by half-interred bodies. You step, on, step out into an enormous cavern, its walls and sharp cliffs riddled with tombs leading into places unknown. So I guess we managed to get inside. We can try out how the new girl performs. She should be pretty strong. So currently I have a cypher, a wizard, a fighter. A full priest and a cipher rogue. All right, here we go. This place is dark. <laughs> Whoa, we're getting attacked already. Wow, they're getting destroyed. Let's go. Yeah, you probably might, you might want to use. Actually, we're using that. 
Uh, maybe use a fine pistol. Can I just blow them up? Oh, that looks uh, perhaps good, but also a little bit poorly positioned. Oh, that frost damage. Uh oh. We need to go for a heal. Also, what kind of uh, abilities can we pick here? Whisper of Treason. Yeah, she didn't pick up a lot of abilities. Come on, do the heal. Oh no, she's dead. Hey! Oh crap! He doesn't have AI turned on. Quick, toss me something else. <laughs> Confounding blind? Oh yeah. What's your chance to charm them? It's not so bad. After him. That was a lot of damage. But they are running away. A sure thing. Yeah. Damn, they take a lot of damage. I have to find some rising mages. We are fighting. Okay, these guys seem easy enough. Let's go. You. So can we try to sneak? Can't enter stealth in combat. Oh boy, she's dead. Not sure how that happened. Okay, essential phantom just never gets used. Not sure why not. Sure. No problem. Should we rest? Exceptional leather armor. Looks good. Exceptional morning star. That looks good too. Uh, oh, that's two-handed. Maybe we're gonna rest. I'm not sure what she should use. Can we give her might? Max health. That's not bad. Well, damage taken is not bad. Health restored per... Six seconds. Pork. Pork gives you might. Hey, let's try that. <laughs> Probably very soon she will be eating rice as well. Whoa! Adrift in dreams, sorry lies curled on her side, sweating, muscles quivering, she whimpers low in her throat. Watch her sleep? Okay, let's watch her sleep for some time. Not because I'm being creepy, but like we don't want to wake her unless it's necessary. Her chest rises and falls faster and deeper until she's very nearly heaving. Suddenly she jolts upright, eyes wide and terrified, she chokes back a shriek. She calms, confused eyes searching your face. Reckon that's the first time I ever bore witness to my own demise. It was... not pretty. She worries her bottom lip with her uh, teeth. Never woke with such a driving need for reaping before. It's making my hands shake. <laughs> Maybe the desire would ebb if you killed someone close to us? What the f hell are you saying? You're you're losing your light to the darkness, rekindled by helping the living. Yeah, that's that's good. She sucks in a deep breath. You sound like my high priestess Sawin. She never shuts up about the living, when she ought to worry more about the dead. 
Seems the more souls I gather, the better I see Gon's will. And the less I get a wink of sleep. Maybe you should release the souls you're holding. Well, sure, I mean to. Eventually. A shadow of a smile shades her lips. Us Gonites. We're supposed to shepherd lost souls, not just gather them. The harvesting's only the first part. It doesn't sound that nice, harvesting souls. If I were to dump the souls, it might make me dream less. Like before. Or... Darn it, who knows. Maybe it'd just make it all worse. Either way, I've gotta find my purpose. She turns her face away, bottom lip trembling. Slowly, her fingers uh, reach for the hem of uh, your shirt. She rubs the pads of uh, her fingers over it, holding to you in the lightest of touches. Will you help me, Watcher? What? Are you trying to seduce me into helping you? <gasps> oh! Yes! Touch the corner of her mouth, I'll do anything for you, Sony. Now, thing is, she might be playing us. I'm thinking... I'll do anything for you, Sony. Corner of her mouth. Let's do it. Her happiness warms her whole face as a bright blush prickles over her skin. I was hoping you might would. Sometimes I feel like, with you by my side, I can stand against gods. I didn't specify how I'm gonna help you, though. We'll find an aid ravine and release your burden. It's the best way to ensure the souls reach the beyond. I like that. What if we gave the souls to the Animancers? They've made gains in reproducing the cycle of rebirth. The more souls you gather, the more strongly you see your god's will. Keeping them would make you a better priestess. That's stupid. What about the Animancers? Put my flock into the hands of experimenters? How can we trust they'd be successful? Or hell, even to be well-meaning in their intent? Just the thoughts making my shoulders twitch. You sure about this? You harvest the souls, the Animancers replant them. It's a new cycle, one that will work. Oh, who's guiding the Atosians' souls to rebirth while your god is storming through the Deathfire? Good question. She blances but straightens her stance, hips steady, chin up. She glares, refusing to back down. That's why we Gaunites gather them. Until the time our god can again guide the cycle. But just as quickly she deflates as she considers the flaw in her own logic. Except he's planning to break the cycle first. In that case... The gods will survive, but Kithkind may not. She sighs, rubbing tirely at the spot between her eyes. Guess that settles it then. Find me an Animancer, and we'll try it. Yeah! She nods once before turning away. Alright, that's the so plan. you're saying you're literally a pirate of the mind? You sail in and steal people's thoughts? Behold, lass. I'm the original psychic piratical. Not hardly. Even I've heard about Malnage. She's a cipher like you, ain't she? Only older. Ugh, had to dredge up my cruel rival. You should know her arsehole itches when mention being made of her. What a nasty hex. Tell me you weren't the one that put it on her. Darn, I hope that doesn't make her itch. <gasps> Hell, or that. Now I'm just making it worse. I best shut my mouth before I cause more damage. <laughs> I like your style, kid. Alright. Ooh, what is this? Exceptional breastplate? That looks good. Exceptional. Exceptional medium shield. Exceptional sword. Those are very good exceptional things. Exceptional robe, exceptional rod. Can I use an exceptional shield? Nah, that's fine. That's terrible. Let's use the exceptional shield. It doesn't even get a lot better. Which is concerning. Anyway. Uh, what do I want? 
Exceptional Morningstar, Exceptional Sword. Can someone use that Exceptional Sword? Maybe he's gonna use it. Wait, what? Okay. He's gonna go with that, but use the fine pistol for now. Also, that's garbage. We're using the saber. Exceptional Archibus. Means fortune. Yeah, we don't have a really good two-handed weapon. But it's fine. Oh yeah, the armor. I think she might want. <coughs> Should she want it? I think she want it. She wants it for one reason. And the fact that she's u she is using melee weapons right now. So, for that, you need to get close, and if you get close, you probably don't want to die. This place is so damn dark. Uh, can I just uh, equip a torch? I don't really care with what, but just the torch. I think it's on in the other category. Okay. Yes. Happy to oblige. Wow, this place is so damn dark. Sacred stair. Oh, that's that must be the entrance. Why not? The other entrance. Curiouser and curious. Trap disarmed. Leave it to me. Oh, exceptional mace, fine large shield, gauntlets of the disciple. Oh no, discipline. Maximum discipline? Wait. Oh, only usable by fighter. Oh, that's good. Right? That's good. Let's let's just take it. I don't even know who we are fighting. Risen sh uh, soldier. Oh. Trap detected. I'm so risen soldier, but you gotta die. Why is he healing? <laughs> Exceptional. A lot of exceptional gear here. Exceptional sword. This is a, a pretty good place. Keep your Weber eye open. Damn. You really missed this game. So awesome. Easy breezy wet. Exceptional. So many unique systems in this game. It is, it's a very unique experience. It's also it's a very, very uh, good role-playing game, like an excellent role-playing game. And also, like, also very strategic as well, so... Damn. Oh, I actually forgot to uh, get rid of my torch. <laughs> well, I guess we didn't need to get rid of it. Ready to bro Oh, Ryzen Priest. Oh, what are you guys doing? That's kind of a crappy skill. What are you doing? 
fireball in the middle of the group. That's really dumb. And I've seen you do it. Oh, what? Oh. That fire wall wasn't my... Uh, mistake, at least. Oh, this engage was bad. We messed up. Let's just do a withdraw. Okay, this fight really turned out poorly. What is this fight? Okay, you just can't let the AI auto resolve this. What the fuck was this fight? I need to pay more attention to uh, Watcher because she's so dumb. I'm sorry, but wow. Also, she's using a bunch of skills that are just wasting the, well, the spells. She would be better off just uh, hitting with his, uh, her weapon, I mean. Season of harvest is here. Okay. Plan B. We're gonna play it smart. Maybe wait for them to come out. Yeah. I hear you. Are they just gonna shoot at me? Now, we need to stay outside. It's gonna make it easier to fight them. No, why are you trying to do a chill fog? That's just really dumb. One person right next to you, chill fog time. No, definitely not. More chill fog. Forget about it. Don't do it. Can I just focus fire them? Oh, she's about to die. Can we just heal her? And I don't know if she can disengage. She might be able to. Gave his proof treason. Damn. What? Move. Now it's time for the AoE, I guess. What's up with the tentacle? Weird fight. Don't do the thingy on like one guy. It literally will do nothing. Oh boy. No, stop doing that. Don't do a fireball. Or maybe do a fireball, but aim it correctly. Damn. Sure. Exceptional rod. Well, well, well. What? Mm -hmm. As you wish. Okay. Apparently the torch well, didn't work. Well. Despite her holding it. Scallywags. Scallywags. 
He triggered the trap. I might just need to tweak the AI because it's really dumb. Well, that didn't work. No! No! Look at that chill fuck! It's so dumb! It's so dumb! Don't don't even think about it. Like the thing is with the bewildering spectacle, confusing a target lowers their intellect and attacks hit friendlier hostile creatures. Great. The thing is, you have a one out of three chance to do it on him. And does it really worth it just to lower his intellect? Because he's only gonna hit friendlies. So it's definitely not worth it. You should not do it. Come on. Don't be so dumb. I might just need to tweak her AI quite a bit. I'm not even sure if that's worth it over just... I think this one has a 1% chance to hit. That makes that what makes it useful. What's up with the fireball? If I try to do the fireball, it's not gonna work out so well. The missiles definitely don't have a 100% chance to hit. Rolling flame, not the best. Infused with vital essence, fit and constitution. That's just a fast kill. Great, I can do a fireball. It's not bad. This thing isn't doing the job. No! That's not what I wanted to do. You triggered the disengage attack. I just want to flank him. She used all her abilities. And managed to achieve basically nothing. <laughs> Damn it, Watcher! Why are you so dumb? That's why I was somewhat hesitant to get the Spotcaster as the main character. Because I know you gotta fine tune them, like, just like, uh, pay attention to them quite a bit. Hmm, this place is so damn dark. Anyway, uh, this is a good time to take a break, so thanks for watching guys, and see you next time!